Hello everyone, so today we are going to talk about performance comparison of binary and multi-class text classification models with convolutional neural nets and BERT with those CNN layers. So the initiative behind here is that there are lots of models out there and we need to figure out a decent model based on the data that we have. So this project essentially measures the performance of multiple models, especially resource demanding ones here. Um, so the models that I propose here are TensorFlow based models. And as you know, those models, you need to have a decent graphics card, at least a two gigabyte of VRAM space. So by providing this performance measurement code, uh, from the very beginning to the visualization that you're seeing right now. I hope you will have an idea of which model to choose uh, based on the trade-offs out there. So as you can see here, this is the main uh, visualization page here. So this is the front end page. So as you can see, there's like a first section, it's a binary classification section and the other one down here is a multi-class classification. So the first one, binary models, we have, as I said, CNN and BERT plus CNN models, right? So the pre-trained models are built in here, and these two models for this binary model will classify whether the given text is a disaster-related tweet or not. So before I go through how it classifies the text, I will show you some brief uh, visualization here. So it shows you how long did it take to train. So of course like BERT models it has more trainable parameters because I added the BERT part in front of the in front of the convolutional neural nets layer. So of course it'll take a lot of time to train and also the prediction it takes quite a lot of time because it has more layers. And if you go to the second expand you can see that the resources that they have spent on. So as you can see, the BERT models use a lot of resources compared to the CNN models. So you can see that, for example, this one, the prediction stage, the RAM usage is 41% uh, out of the 100%. And then in case of just CNN model, it only use 32% of it. So you can also see the accuracy here. So you can see that these, uh, you can also like scroll and adjust the, the plots here. So you can see that the accuracy is pretty much similar, but if you like hover the, these uh, bar graph, you can see that the BERT model is quite better, like slightly better, it's 88%, while the CNN model is 86%. So you can probably, have already an idea of which model to go with. So for example, if um, if you don't really have any resources, and then you can probably go with convolutional neural nets model because the accuracy, there's not much big difference out there. But if you really want to be like super accurate about the result, and at the same time you have uh, an adequate resources, and then you can probably go with the BART model here. So the last step here, the last section here is you can uh, predict some sentences, tweets. So this is the default sentence. You can of course change, but I'll go through with this one. If you press predict binary, it will predict it for you. And you can see that the BERT model predicted that it's a disaster tweet and at the same time the CNN model said it's not a disaster tweet. So I would say this is a disaster tweet, so it's talking about the Texas shooting in the uh, last week in the elementary school, so I would say the BERT predicted correctly here. And it's the same for the multi-class classification, so you can see some metrics out here, of course the training BERT model will take more, and the RAM, of course, the BERT will need more resources because the model itself is heavier with more trainable parameters. And accuracy, it's similar, but you can see that uh, 
bird model is 95%, while the sea anemone model is 94.98. So they're pretty much similar. They're different by 0.3%. So you can also predict this article. Oh, so before I go through that, the multi-class model predicts the news article into seven categories. Automobile, entertainment, politics, science, sports, technology, and world. So you can see that there's like some text here. The President Joe Biden recently visited South Korea and he headed to Japan. So if you predict this one, you can see that the BERT model predicted that it's a world and the CNN model predicted that it's an entertainment. Obviously, it's not an entertainment because... I mean, it might have predicted that it's an entertainment because Mr. President is traveling around, but I would say it's more of a world or rather politics, but mm, half and half. But I would say BERT model predicted a more accurate way. So this is pretty much it for the front end, um, how it works. And this is the repository where you can see the full implementation of those models. So I also implemented scikit-learn models like logistic regression, some basic models like naive bias one, uh, support vector machine, gradient boosting ones. But I didn't include that in the front end demo part because they're fairly less resource demanding and you can pretty much do it um, with this provided code like in less than a minute or so. And you can also go to some quick start here and see um, some like data analysis part, the average word count, the data that I used. Um, and you can also check out the confusion matrix out here and see how accurate they are. So this is, that's pretty much it for the full implementation, the full model implementation and I'll move on to the server side of it. So in order to have the front end over here, I was having a, um, I deployed the API through AI Nice platform. Uh, and then you can see that, oh, before that, I have to discuss this. So from this model part, after saving the model, after training, I publish them in Docker Hub, and then I pull them, you know, I reuse them uh, for the server repository and create an, an API for that and deploy through AI Nice. So if you click run on AI Nice, you can see the API documentation here, like how to use and like it. It's, it has the post uh, request here, um, the parameters that you need to call the API and how they work, like what kind of error codes or like success codes that you have here and stuff like that. Those are discussed here. So the API is the server side of thing. And finally, I will go through the front end side of thing. So this is where I put all the front end part of the code. So if you're interested in, you can see how I uh, publish the front end code, you know, with Streamlit. And also the demo is deployed through AI Nice platform. And if you click this icon, you can, you'll be navigated to AI Nice and where I deployed my front end code and if you go to demo this demo tab it'll show you the demo part of it and you know this is how the front end works so that's pretty much it for my demo yeah so this is pretty much it for my very first project performance comparison of binary and multi-class text classification models uh, with AI Nice. Yeah, thank you for watching.